Okay, there is another way that we can uh, learn to write fractions in our lowest terms or reduce or simplify other words for it. Let's look at that same example that we did um, in the last video where, oops, let me move that up a little bit, where we had this 112 over 128. Now, we did this very slowly in the last one. We divided by 2, top and bottom, and then we had to divide by 2 again, and then again, and then again. Well, sometimes, especially when we're working with larger numbers, it can be a little bit um, scary to try and figure out what goes into the numerator and the denominator. And sometimes we just kind of shut down when we look at these numbers. So there is a more systematic way of doing it, and this involves prime factorizations. So let's write our 112 as the prime factors. So remember, we had to do that tree and we just thought of two things that multiplied together to get 112. So in this case, maybe 2 times 56. And then 2 is prime, but 56 we can break down further. 56 would be 2 times 28, and we have to break down 28. That would be 2 times 14, and 14 would be 2 times 7. Okay, so now our prime factorization would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. Now let's look at our um, 128. So 128 would be 2 times 64. And 64 we could break down into 8 times 8. 8 is not done. 8 could be 2 times 4 and 4 would be 2 times 2. Now again, we have this other 8 up here that we need to finish out. So 8 would be 2 times 4, and 4 would be 2 times 2. Remember, you have to keep factoring until you're down to nothing but primes. So by doing this then, we can rewrite our problem as, instead of 112, we can write as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. And instead of 128, we can write it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of those 2's. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of them. We could rewrite this problem this way using only prime numbers. Now, do you remember when we were doing division? whenever we had things like 5 over 5. Any number over any number, what happens when you do that division? That becomes a 1. So every single one of these common factors, here we have a 2 over a 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So let me go ahead and let me write this out again so that I can show that. 2 times 2 times 2 times 7 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of those 2's. Alright, 2 divided by 2 is 1. I'm going to put a 1 on the top and the bottom just to make sure to remind me that they're not completely gone, but 2 divided by 2 is technically 1. 2 divided by 2 again is 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And now all we have left is, on top, we have 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 7 is 7. And on bottom, we have 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, those are all 1's, times 2 times 2 times 2 would be 8. Isn't that the exact same thing that we got by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 2 each time? Because this is exactly what's going on. When you divide the top and the bottom by 2, you are canceling out those common factors because they divide to make a 1. Now we're going to do some more practice with this in just a minute.